the women's changing rooms first door on the left you're welcome to come in you would not want to miss this hosted by Jeanette and Danessa hey guys welcome back to women's changing rooms I'm Jeanette and I am Danessa welcome to the women's changing room where all is stripped bare we transvers the globe to empower and uplift all our women yes we do yes we do Uh so what have we got today yeah we have something interesting today um we have some questions right and we are just going to be answering these questions there are random questions um thought-provoking questions so we would like you when we read the questions you can answer as well you can answer wherever you are in the house or outside or you can go in the comment section if you're listening on youtube and answer um the questions okay so are we ready jenna i think you should start i'm ready okay you sure you want me to start (laughs) that's fine i will start let me see okay i like this one so i'm gonna start with this one okay so Danessa is falling in love worth it without the happily ever after okay I'm gonna start (laughs) (laughs) too late too late (laughs) I I wasn't even um ready (laughs) is falling in love worth it without the happily ever after I mean, well, we were thought that, you know, when we get married and stuff, we have our happily ever after. So what kind of um, falling in love would that be? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, Would it be, let me answer. Would it be worth worth it? Uh, No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. What do you think? I don't think so. I mean, that's why everyone falls in love, isn't it? Well, well, not reasons why. I mean, I suppose you can't help who you fall in love with. Mm-hmm. But you fall in love and you want a happily ever after, isn't it? But if you don't get that, what's the point? Yeah. What's and I mean, point? it's not going to be a bed of roses, you know, because relationships and everything have their ups and downs. But it should be a happily ever after with these things. So yeah. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, so I'll say no, it is not worth it if I'm not getting that happily ever after. Mm-hmm. I ain't falling in love. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to be miserable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. funny, but yeah. yeah. I, I like one. it. I like it. You see, like I have to think it. It's good to just like read it and just answer right away. So mm. yeah, I like it. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Oh I'll start easy. I'll easy <laughs> and just went full fledged. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I have is what kind of classes do you wish existed when you were going to school? Okay, I would definitely say I was gonna say business, but we did have business classes in school, mm-hmm. but in depth, like entrepreneurship finance ways to like financial like how to use your money Mm -hmm. how to um maybe invest Mm -hmm. things like that I would definitely say that's the kind of classes that I wish we had in school yeah I mean the same here I is we had principles of business we had all of that but I just feel like I wish we had like a course or a a class or a subject where they would emphasize or you know have people know that it is okay if you don't work a nine-to-five job for somebody else it is okay Mm -hmm. for you to have your own stuff going on um because I don't know it's just like we were just thought that okay we go to school we go to school we go to school we graduate get good grades and then go work for somebody else else. yeah I wish we had that and the next thing too with the finance for me I wish that they would teach us about bank accounts and checking Mm. and saving and on and go in depth with that because um and what people look for when they 
when they want to give you like when you want to set up a bank account just these everyday like skills and things that people need i wish that they focus more on it so definitely yeah yeah so we're, we were thinking along the same lines that's good yeah see that's good yeah you know? right are you ready for the next one yes i am Okay, so this is an easy one. Do you feel like your clothes are part of your personality? Yeah. Like what you wear? Yeah, I think so. Because you as a person, it's things that you like. And whether you like it based on, you know, um, how it makes you feel or just how it looks on you, it's about you. So, I, yeah. Like I love certain things and it's because of my personality. You won't find me um, got out because that's not my personality. Yeah. I mean, I always think like by the clothes I wear, does people think, oh, she's like this or she's this way or, you know, she's like that. Because I'm thinking someday I switch up my clothes like mm. all the time. Sometimes you'll see me in heels, well, not a dress, but like, well, if I'm going out, yes, a dress and stuff like that. Every day, maybe I might be in trainers and a jogger. Sometimes I'm wearing combats and like, I'll go with the times as well. Like I like keeping up with trends sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and I'm thinking, does people think, oh, her personality is like, maybe she's into, well, I'm not into sports. So they won't see me and think I'm into sports. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like, yeah. I don't know. But I it, that means you have like different personalities there showing. Some people just have one personality and I'm going to have fancy dresses and I'm going to have heels or flats or whatever. And that's just oh. me. And then certain people may just have a wide range of things because their personality mm. is, is, is wide and it, it range from different things. So I don't yeah. know. But, for, but then again, what about people who like girls you know like that go out and always have booty shots and i'm cropped up mm -hmm. and they have all this like you know that that thing would you yeah. say that oh they're this or they're that i mean people do say it but mm -hmm. I, is that their person sometimes that's what they like i don't know yeah. for me, i just feel like for me it's in my personality based on what i wear yeah i would say um no, I don't think what I wear is part of my personality. Mm. It's hard to define it because, like, mm. how could you define clothes or, like... I mean, I could understand certain mm -hmm. aspects, like, in terms of if you see someone every day in sports where gym mm -hmm. wear, they're, like, they're a sport, either into sports, mm -hmm. into, like, going to the gym and things like that. Mm -hmm. But that's what they like. Mm -hmm. Their personality could be totally different. They could be a very shy person. They could be loud. They could be, you know, so I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. It's yeah. Hard. I mean, like certain people, they're strictly these colors. That's all they, they wear. And some yeah. people like they just wear all the colors. That doesn't mean yeah. that they like it, but they do. But for me, if I get down to the nitty gritty of it, mm. I wear things that are based on my personality most of the time. Okay. That's what I do because I stick with what I like or what aligns with my personality. You won't see me um, wearing something that I feel in my head is not aligned with what I what Yeah, you won't catch me with a booty shot. One, I don't have butt for it, um, but you won't catch me with a booty shot. You will catch me with a short pants. Yeah. You won't catch okay. me going out with a bralette just like mm -hmm. that, you know. Because it's not my personality. It's not who I am as an individual. Yeah. yeah. As some people would wear it all the time, you know? Mm. I don't know. It could yeah. change. Your personality could change. Because I remember when I was younger, um, you would not catch me with a bikini on, mm. exposing myself. But now, maybe I'll do it. So yeah. it all depends on the stage of life. But yeah, for me, yes. But you're saying no, which is understandable. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. What do you guys think? I really want to hear from you guys. Yeah, please get into the comment section, you guys. Let us yeah. know what you think. Let us know. Okay, <laughs> where am I? Um, I want to get one. Ooh. 
is it more appealing to have a career or to do odd jobs? Which one is more appealing? I mean, it's appealing to have a career. Everyone desires to have a career. But I think it all depends on what stage of life you are at in terms of where your mindset is to do odd jobs. Exactly. Because if it's a case where, like, you could be doing odd jobs mm -hmm. and getting a lot of money for it, mm -hmm. you know, and if it's a case of, like, maybe you want to travel mm. and that odd job's allowing you to travel, so then you would do that. You do the odd job and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. And whether it's consistent as well. Mm -hmm. And it depends on where you grew up as well. As I was mm. saying before, in Grenada, we teach, go to school, get good grades, go work for somebody. That's yeah. career, you know? Mm -hmm. The odd jobs, probably you wouldn't even think about it. If you see somebody with a job that you never heard before, you'd be like, what are they doing? You only mm. know the basic jobs, you know? And that's what you go for. That's that's what you go yeah. for. And then odd jobs could be like, Something that you'll be like, okay, well, I'll never do that. I'll never be a pole dancer. I'll never, you know, do such and such. Our job could be anything. So I agree. The stage in your life where you're at. I personally, before it was career, career, career. Right mm. now is our job. Yeah. Our job, do my own thing. Get my own. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Exactly. And if it's allowing you to be like, flexible mm -hmm. in terms of what, what you want to do your aspirations then there's nothing wrong with odd jobs and stuff and it being odd jobs doesn't mean it's not consistent mm. you know you can have odd jobs but it's consistent maybe yeah. every day is different maybe yeah. different things are coming your way you know exactly. so it all depends really yeah and if, exactly if you're a person that um that can't stick with with one thing at least you have different things that to go with you know, you can, right. do this, you can do that. Um, yeah, it helps. It helps. So that's a good Definitely. One. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Let's see what have I got for you. Um, oh, let's see. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you this one. Okay. How would you describe the feeling you get when you share your food with someone? <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting. You have an interesting sharing your food. <laughs> the feeling that I get when I share my food. It's my food. It's not like charity work for you give. Uh, my food. I don't know. Sometimes I want to share, and sometimes I don't want to share. And it all depends mm -hmm. on what. If it's something that I love, like seafood or roti. I'm going to share with you. I will, but in the back of my mind, it's like, why does that person have to be begging? I don't want to share. Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes I'll be like, yeah, I want it. But it, you know what I don't like? I don't like when you're like, okay, yeah, take, you, you want some and yeah. you want to eat the entire plate. Oh, like, gosh. No, come gosh. down. I, I'm giving you some. Take some. Yeah. yeah. And give me it back, you know? So it's like, exactly. yeah. It's a it's true. for me. <laughs> I mean, before when I was like younger, I'm like, no, I don't want to share. I never used to like sharing my food, but now mm -hmm. I don't mind. I don't mind sharing, especially when you've got a child, you've got no choice but to share. Nothing is yours. <laughs> yeah, nothing is yours. Okay. So yeah, mm -hmm. I don't mind. It's mm -hmm. like whatever in it. <laughs> I'm think... constantly sharing my food with uh, my son. <laughs> when I was younger, I think I like to share. Like I, I like to share because I remember for Christmas, like we would get money. My sister mm. would always want clothes and jewelry oh, and yeah. stuff. My brother would always go get video games and stuff. And then mm. I, because I like junk, I would go get <laughs> to the, um, and Buster and snacks and stuff. And then when it yeah. comes, I have to share with them. And I would oh, I, no. I, I be like, okay, yeah, fine. But as I got yeah. older, I'd be like, we're getting the money. You're choosing to do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to eat my stuff. That's what I want. <laughs> So yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. so, That's so funny. I like that question. I like that question. Yeah. The next one is 
What do you think about the current younger generation? The younger generation now, the Gen Zs and them. I'm quite scared for them. There's a lot going on. I'm scared for them because there's like so much pressure for them to like live up to like the expectations mm -hmm. and living into a world that we're in that's everything fake mm -hmm. you know nothing's really real that they aspire by things that is not sometimes necessarily realistic yeah so that's where I feel like it's so hard it's so hard for them and yeah yeah Oh, yeah. a lot of them but a lot of them has got quite a lot of things going for them and quite in mentality when it comes to like business mind mm -hmm. and stuff compared to where we were when we I was younger mm -hmm. they got quite good potential in terms of like starting up a business traveling doing different things you know yeah. whereas when in my age we wasn't so much into that so yeah it's um yeah it's a hard one really but yeah, yeah. i just feel like i just still scared, yeah. scared for them, really they're yeah. they're doing the odd jobs mm. they are definitely doing the, the odd jobs they're like for us millennials that we were like ingrained in you know like do this do that go across yeah the road. now they're stepping out of that and you know and they're doing that um what do I think about them? I just feel like they, some of them are easy to be manipulated, mm -hmm. um, which align with what you were saying with what they see. They, they are like, okay, that is real and that is happening when it's not. Most of the time, yeah. it is not what happening. That is not how they look. That is not what they do. They don't have all of that, you know, for mm -hmm. most of it so I'm like yeah. okay they're very easily manipulated and um they have for some of them they have things going for them mm -hmm. with that odd job and doing things stepping out um mm -hmm. so that's what I, I think of now yeah and, and it helps well especially the ones that are not like you know some all children are different. And when they, they go to school, some just cannot be in school. Some yeah. just have skills and some have this and some have that. So I just feel like this the, the younger generation right now, it helps with the children that cannot be in the classroom. It helps. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Do you have a hard time giving honest critics to someone you love? No. No. Yeah. Honest critic? No. I don't. A stranger, maybe. Because mm. I don't know if they know me like that. And sometimes I can be, I can be hard on people mm -hmm. not because i want to it's because i believe in that tough love sometimes mm -hmm. um but people i love i need to give them that tough love mm -hmm. um they may not like it at the time but then i know definitely because they would come back and say what you were saying was correct what mm -hmm. you were doing was correct you know so it, it happened a lot so i would be like nope yeah yeah it's yeah, Mm -hmm. same um if I know it's like to better them mm -hmm. you know I wouldn't want them to look a fool mm -hmm. or anything so yeah I'll give them that critique yeah. you know um it's all out of love yeah it's not any malice it's just love really mm -hmm. and you always would want the best for whoever you love exactly so, yeah yeah did you see that? That scared me. Did you see yeah, that? Video? It's like, uh, what is falling from the sky? What is falling from the uh, ceiling? It just <laughs> fell. I'm like, okay, sorry, guys. All right, it's okay. Yeah. But yeah, th that 
creep people need it and this generation mm -hmm. now once you start to talk to them they feel like you hate them or you're yeah. against them yeah. it's, why are you so touchy mm. why are you so touchy we can't always be baby feeding and doing these things gently sometimes you need it because if you don't get it from the people who love you when you go mm. out there people will be just looking like you like you're crazy or yeah. like who is this person or who they think they they are are they entitled right. that much you know so people need it especially for the younger generations as you said Mm -hmm. um yeah like with my son I feel like sometimes I'm really mm. hard 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 on him but you know it's for for me like it's for the best like you know I want him to be stay in the right direction mm -hmm. and it'd be interesting as well because I'd like to know like yeah what the kids are like maybe I'm going a bit off topic but mm. bear with me what the kids are like in Grenada compared mm -hmm. to like like you've got a brother yeah like how is he in terms of you know his behavior is he mm. like and do you have to talk 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 until he listens or is it just one no and then he's no let me like, tell you my <laughs> brother is entitled that's what he is because i compare him right now mm. so when we were growing up when it was just mm. three of us yeah he is of this generation and he feels entitled when i was mm -hmm. growing up my mama cooked this this and this and i was a child i didn't like a lot of things i had to eat it and maybe vomit after but mm -hmm. i had to eat it him i don't feel for that today mama will yeah. always go and find something else and give him entitled yeah, yeah. So the yeah. the times right now and sometimes i sometimes i'm like well, why are you doing that? That is why he's like this. That is why he's like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the nice. same. It's same. Same like with, with my son. You know, it's like, oh, what do you want to eat? Oh, I want to go to a restaurant, mm. a big restaurant. I'm sorry, <laughs> and it's me. <really laughs> I suppose it is my fault because I let like that's the thing that, and he's gotten into that kind of habit. But yeah. they do feel they do feel entitled. Yeah. So sorry, yeah. I digress. Let me, I am like that way with my little brother because mm. like once I have money and we mm. go in like the supermarket, like he can pick two, three things that he wants. Because I remember yeah. when I was younger growing up, I can't, what do they say? You can't open your mouth. You get in, you get your warning already. Oh yeah, yeah. Supermarket, don't ask yeah. anything, don't touch mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. We get what we need. You know, exactly. exactly. So I don't want him to be like that. You know, mm. so I want to say, okay, you can pick up three things. Mm. You know what three things you pick up, but just know that's the three things. You're not going. Yeah. Home. And I'm like, yeah. okay, maybe I'm spoiling him too. You know, mm. the times, but I don't know. Do we, they're just entitled. Yeah, so true. <laughs> <laughs> ah, these um, kids. Uh, I have, if your family turns away from you for any reason, would you try to get them back? 150%, of course, yeah. But there's no, no one more than family, you know? And yeah, definitely. Mm. Like that's all I have is like family, you know? So I will try and get them back. Mm. What do you I mean, think? it depends on who the family member is. Okay. <laughs> For me, <laughs> if it was my mama, you know, we have like opposite uh, personalities, but yet it's mm -hmm. similar. So we get on each other's nerves sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if my mama play like she's not talking to me, well, I'm going to be the pest on her. And yeah, then yeah. she come back around. Yeah. But if it's like an uncle or somebody who is, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, like, okay, you go do you, boo-boo, I'm going to stay here. It's like, no. But to be honest, it depends on who the family member is. I am going to fight for you. And, mm -hmm. Or I'll just like, okay, you choose to do this, so do this. I'm not going to follow you. I'm not going to dog behind you or come behind you. I don't know. That's just my personality. 
Yeah, each to their own. And I suppose it all depends on like the relationship, yeah. how tight you are with your family as well. Yeah. And and it's, yeah. Especially like, okay, you're Jeanette, you're my auntie. Mm. We're close, right? But then all of a sudden, Jeanette, for whatever reason, Jeanette starts to behave differently. She's starting to, to talk about me. She's starting to do things. Excuse yeah, me. I don't, yeah. I don't have nothing to do with you. I, yeah, I am so quick on cutting people out. It, mm. it baffles me sometimes. And, really? you know, and you think like, how did this person do that? You know, what was going through their mind? That's me when it comes to cutting people out of my life. Oh, wow. <laughs> once you, once it's, you choose to do this for something yeah. petty or small, I'm going to cut you out. Oh, but on the other hand, if my mama does that, then, well, that's something else. She's going to, I'm going to be the one pestering her. <laughs> <laughs> I feel mad, but yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> that's know. funny. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. Next question is, um, what was the most recent moment that changed your life in a major way? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Do you know I had to discuss this on my, um, my personal YouTube channel? Oh. And, I, and I haven't um, discussed it as yet. <laughs> I guess I'll be discussing it here first. Um, but I won't Maybe. go into that, but um, the, something that recently um, changed my life in a major way is um, not having my nine to five. Mm. Um, I think I, I, I mentioned it. So I'm a teacher, I, I'm an educator, um, but I was in the classroom every day. And yeah, back in September, I was no longer in the classroom for different reasons. And yeah, that cha- that that something simple as that. Oh, child, mm. it changed my life drastically, you know, for good and bad, but it mm. just changed it. So yeah, I'll have to say that um event back in um, September. Yeah. As you're talking, I'm trying to think, and I don't know. Like nothing really happened mm-hmm. recently that's mm-hmm. changed. Yeah. Oh, well, could... anything? Any? Do you have anything that changed? Um, I could think about one thing right now. It's not recent, but it's something that changed your life in a big okay, so way. What's that? Having your your lovely boy. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I would have said that. That would have been always my go-to thing mm-hmm. to say that. But, like, he's seven. <laughs> not right, so recently. Recent. It's not so recent. But, yeah. yeah, that changed my life, obviously, for the best. And, you know, best thing that's ever happened to my mm-hmm. life. But, yeah, so I would have said that. But I thought, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. seven years. It's not recent. <laughs> it's not so recent. <laughs> oh. But yeah, apart from that, nothing really. Do we have more? Oh, I see one. Do you think bullies often see themselves as bullies? Yes, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know they're just doing it for attention and because they're insecure, so they're going to bully people. Mm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. they do. I don't know. know answers. And it's even like from like even if it's a ch- child in school to adults in workplaces, they know what they're doing. Hmm. You can't say, oh, oh, they don't know what they're doing. If you're picking at someone and you're like being horrible and mean to yeah. someone, you know. I don't know. I I was thinking like, no, they don't know what they're doing. Because, oh, really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's well, this is my trend of thought, right? It's mm-hmm. kind of like me um, having low tolerance for people with BS, all right? Mm-hmm. And cutting people out. Like, it's just there. That's just how I'm wired. I just don't have the tolerance for that. So, but that's different. it's not the same. <laughs> No, that's different. If you're not going to like, take like BS from people, you just don't take BS and you ain't got time for 
shit, basically. Yeah, but I, feel like, I feel like the bullies are like, okay, I was bullied before and that is what I know. So that is what I'm going to do. Maybe they see that they're hurting people, but that's what they know because most of the time bullies are people who were bullied before, you know? So like, no. Right, not necessarily. That is not having it, guys. She's not no, having no. it. <laughs> I'll disagree on that because sometimes some bullies they have not been bullied you know they're really popular and you know but they're insecure in themselves and yeah. maybe oh Danessa's got like nice eyebrows Danessa's pretty this that and the other so I'm jealous of that so I'm gonna pick on Danessa yeah. I'm gonna say oh Danessa you know look at you you're this you're that because I'm insecure yeah. and I'm jealous yeah. of what you've got. So not necessarily that they've been bullied and they don't they know what they're doing. It's their way sometimes just to bring someone down. But do you see do but do they see themselves as being a bully? I don't think so. I think they just they just bully. They they do things that are wrong to people, but I don't think that they see themselves as bullies. Oh, that's just me. I don't know. It's crazy, right? I, I don't know. I don't. Well, we. This is the first thing that we are opposite, opposite, yeah. opposite of. Well, I like sometimes when we get like opposite yeah. of something because it's quite interesting. Yeah. It's interesting to see where you where you're coming from uh-huh. and where I'm coming from. I like that, and it'll be very good to see what everyone else thinks as well. So put it, guys, in the comments. Exactly. Do you, do you really think they see them? Do they see themselves as bullies? Are they like, I'm a bully? Or is it mm. like, they're just hurting think, people? Yeah. Do you think they're oblivious that they don't know what they're doing? Do you think that? I feel they know what they're doing, but mm. I don't think they see themselves as being a bully. It's just that's how they they behave. Mm. They Probably they see it as, as something that is... It's okay. Like serial killers. I don't know. This went dark super quick. But serial killers, they're like, well, that's what I do. Like, that's what I want to do. Do they see themselves like, um, you know, like that? I don't know. Murderers. They should do. If that's what they're going to be doing, that's what they are. They're murderers. Yeah, but some of them but like... They see themselves as, what would you think they would see themselves as? Oh, I'm just... Like a normal person. Like, I don't know, in my head, they see themselves as a normal person. What I'm doing is okay. No, I don't think, some, I, don't, I, I don't know, unless they've got like mental issues. Yeah, they, well, yeah. I, something is not right up there with yeah. people bullying people or even, you know, going that extreme, like I went just now. Like, something is not right <laughs> up there, I don't believe. Yeah. So they see it mm-hmm. as normal. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting too. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> ah. That's so funny. Yeah. It's thought provoking. That's what it is. Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I think next question is Would you forget a traumatic experience if you could? <laughs> uh, would I? Initially, I'll be like, yes, but I'm just the person where I feel like I grow, I learn something from certain things and certain Mm. things I wish didn't happen, but I'm like, do I want to forget it? Uh, Not necessarily. I don't think so. I mean, I didn't go through a lot in my life. Um, Mm. So like whatever I go through is like, at the moment, I felt like, oh my gosh, this is, this is, you know, I felt like it's the end of the world. But yeah. now looking back on it, it's like, oh, it's just minor blips in my yeah. life. I, don't, I would say but no. then that's, that's not traumatic then. That's just, a like you said, a blip. But like something that's traumatic where it can affect you mentally. I think, yes, if it was something so traumatic, I would definitely... Want to okay? So, so my traumatic probably experience is true. It is like it's in during the time. It's like oh my gosh, this mm. happened to me. He dumped me. He cheated on me. It's traumatic at the time, 
But then mm. when you look at life and you live life, you'll be like, oh, there are certain people who went through worse. Or, you know, yeah. that's just a little thing. So I do understand that, but everybody has their own understand what you're saying as well, actually, in terms of some traumatic mm. is a lesson and you don't realize like how it makes you grow mm -hmm. after. So yeah, yeah, I got that definitely. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. mm. I would say no. I would say I would say no because yeah. I mean, it's I don't want to be reminded of every time to have post traumatic stress. Um, yeah. You know, but mm. I just I need to remember that is what I went through and that is what I overcome. Yeah. 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 I'll say 50 50. It depends on how it is and how you overcome it, yeah. basically. Yeah. If, I, do, I would say, though, if I was, uh, if I'm a rape victim or, you know, if I was younger and I was molested, mm -hmm. then 100%, I don't want to remember that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have any recollection of that. But I think mm -hmm. my answer is based on what I've been through. Mm -hmm. so uh maybe somebody maybe i don't know i can't speak for them but for me yeah. i've been through in my life everything i saw like okay you went through that but you overcome it because you did yeah. this and you tackle it so yeah. for me that's my answer based on me yeah 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 fair enough yeah i like this was that the last question yeah uh, I, I, I don't know many more. Really I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice. It was light. It was, you know, I, I can't wait to get the to hear the response from our audience. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. That was fun. I enjoyed that dinner song. Well. Yeah. If you're listening on Spotify, DM us, send mm -hmm. us a message on Facebook. Um. But if you're on YouTube, we can't wait yeah. to hear. Uh, yeah definitely um, guys let us know what you think as well answer some of the questions in the comments as we said yeah, yeah. so yeah and um, so Janessa, do you have anything else to say to the people mm. as we sign out other than the usual subscribe tell your mommy your auntie your brother your sister and nephew everybody in your family are people that you just know friends anybody tell them to subscribe to the women's changing room go on our instagram follow us go on facebook follow us and you can follow Jeanette and i separately on our um social medias or on our um youtube everything is going to be in the description below mm -hmm. except if you're on spotify yeah. i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah guys that is it for this week i hope you enjoyed this week's episode and until next time see you next week bye bye